Hey everyone, today I'm going to install self-driving module on my Prius using the Comet 2 dev kit. This can be purchased on the Comet AI website and you can look up all the different models of vehicles and the support levels. For mine, I have a 2016 to 2020 Prius, so it's able to drive at the bronze level. The Comet dev kit comes with a couple cables, like this harness which connects straight to the camera, this USB-C cable which goes to the Comet device, this long RJ45 which goes between the harness and the Kama power into the OBD port. And this is the Kama self-driving computer which will be mounted straight onto the windshield. And once again, OpenPilot supports over 150 vehicles. So for my first task, I'm going to mount the Kama on the windshield. So I have to put the sticky pad high up on the windshield to where I can still see the bottom of the mount. I ultimately placed it up here right below the lane departure warning camera. The mount needs to be centered with this camera up here for best results, and you should be able to see it from your seat. Firmly press it onto the windshield when the location is found. Next, I tilt my rear view mirror down to get access to the camera. This center cover here pops down like so. You can see I'm reaching in right here and just pulling downward. From there, I can pull this area downward as well. Then the whole cover just comes right off. Behind it, you can see that there's a connection to the camera right here. So we're just going to undo that connection, like so, here now. Notice how it just clicks in a place. And then we have the other side of it that's just going to go straight into the camera. Okay. Next, I plug the USB-C into that harness as well as the RJ45 cable. With the wire still sticking out, I'm going to take my cover and then push it up in the place right here. So we got the harness plugged in. I'm just gonna fit that right in there. Being fit. It's hard to do it with one hand. Once my wires are in place like this, I can now take this final cover, push it up and in place. I have this rear view camera in the way, just plugging in the wires for that. These are unrelated to the comma. And now it's time to route this RJ45 Ethernet cable up into the headliner, down the pillar, and I use a credit card to help push this cable up as well. So now the cable is stuck all the way up there, except for this corner piece, which I'm going to end up fixing a bit later. This part here is removable. You can route the wires down this pillar right behind this, and also behind this weather stripping, and just follow that all the way down. All right, wires going up, down in here, right down this weather stripping looking thing all the way down and now we can pull this kick panel back just a little bit and we can continue routing the wire into here finally made it to the obd2 port just plug this right in and now the wiring is all ready to go this other wire is coming up from my dash cam so just ignore this one Yes, and now when I start the car, there should be no warning lights or anything of that sort with everything plugged in. And this dangling USB-C cable just plugs in the back of the comma device. Just gonna slide it right here. Like that. Plug this cable in the back. After which we'll see the comma logo on the screen, followed by it asking us to drive to calibrate it. After which comma is ready to go. While driving, the Kama device is going to show where the lane lines are on the left and right side, as well as the potential path Kama would take if it were driving. To activate Kama, we press in on the on and off cruise switch, and then move the whole stock down. The Kama will beep, and then have a green border on the screen. And now the car is driving itself. Over here, you can see that green border on the screen. Kama is driving at 40 miles an hour and keeping the car well within the lane lines. Thank you very much for watching this demo and setup. Please like, subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye.